um, hello and welcome to this video. Um, I am here to help you try to learn how to use Adobe Premiere Rush, uh, which is actually relatively easy to use once you really get a good feel for it. So let's do that right now. So yeah, so first of all, you'll probably notice there's a kind of white box down here. Uh, this, that, like that is where you will find projects that you've already started working on before. And these are projects that that you can go back to. The, 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 the application saves them, okay? So it saves them for you, and then you can go back and work on them later on if you want to edit something again. But right now, what we want to do is create something new. So we're going to click Create a New Project here, okay? So now we get to this. So here you pick, okay, what video am I going to edit? So uh, obviously down here you have videos that I have on my desktop. You can also go into other uh, folders that you have around your computer if you want to, but I just put them on my desktop for ease of access. Uh, first of all, what do you want to name your project? For now, I'm just going to name it um, Project because I'm not creative. <laughs> okay, so I actually labeled them. So luckily, I already know that I have to pick this first. Okay, so I'm going to click this. There's a one there. Now I'm going to pick this second. There's a two there. So they're going to go in. I'm going to go in with them in this order. So this one first and this one second. Uh, then there's this one, which is third, but we're going to pretend that we can't see that right now. Uh, oh, wow. I only have two videos. Well, great. I'm now going to create my project with the two videos that I'm going to use and nothing else. So while it's preparing, I just want to show you what the sample videos are that I recorded, just so you have an idea of what's happening. Uh, so yeah, here they are. So it's the 5th of June, 1989, in Beijing, China, and a whole bunch of tanks are leaving Tiananmen Square after having uh, killed a whole bunch of people, when a guy just shows up out of nowhere with his groceries. This is Tank Man. He makes the intrepid decision to just stand there in front of the tank, heading the procession, and so the tank is forced to stop by the sheer unexpectedness of the move. He starts yelling at them. He's like, get out of here. And I assume they're probably thinking that's literally what we were doing, dude. Like, come on, can't you see we're leaving in the square? Nonetheless, Tankman isn't moving. And so the tank tries to move around him, but Tankman just moves in front of it again. The tank slides to the left, slides to the right, kind of fails at the crisscross, but Tankman just won't stop shadowing it. So the tank just stops as it doesn't really know what to do. And one of the guys inside says, okay, Guys, like, this is getting ridiculous. We need to shoot him or something. But the guy next to him is like, are you out of your mind? D just look at the guy. He just stopped a whole column of tanks by just standing there menacingly. And he looks like he's not even using 1% of his power. Okay, we'll, we'll be asking for a death sentence. Tank man is getting bored at this point and just wants to get this over with. Because his groceries also include perishables and he's got to get them in the fridge, you see. He's tank man, he doesn't have time to waste on these pathetic tank boys. So he climbs the tank and yells inside it. Like, um, hey uh, guys, as an, you know, as an expert on, well, m myself, I just want to say that you guys really should hurry up and make a decision or else um, y you really are not gonna like what comes next. There follows a brief exchange where the tank's crew try to convince him to please let them go and also to please get out of their tank which is starting to malfunction due to the sheer pressure of Tank Man's very presence. But no, Tank Man is not so easily dissuaded and he just goes back to standing in their way again. Then some bystanders rush up to the scene and try to pull Tank Man away. They're like, look, dude, I know these guys kind of deserve you using 10% of your power on them, but don't, they just can't handle it. Also, you need to get that ice cream in the freezer or it's gonna melt. And Tank Man, being the hero that he is, allows himself to be pulled aside. The tank's crew breathes a sigh of relief at having escaped with their lives. And finally, the procession is able to get back on the move. And that is the true story of Tank Man. Okay, so I hope you saw those uh, three sample videos, except the third doesn't exist, at least I'm pretending for now that it doesn't exist. So, okay, so now this is what we have. This is the screen. Now, what is going on exactly? This is, uh, first of all, this is where the video is playing. So if I press play, as you can so see, this is... So it's the 5th of June, 1980. 
okay, yeah, I'm talking over myself. So this is where the video is playing, okay? So this down here is what you call your timeline. And the first thing you want to do is you want to expand it. See these, yeah, this control tracks, you want to expand it so that you have more control over it. And also, as you can see, you have this track and then you have other tracks down here and you have other tracks up here. So you can put this up here, you can put it up here, you can put it up here. So these are different tracks. And the reason you have these is so that you can add different um, other, other videos or other, for example, MP3 files like sound or pictures or, or text even, things like that, you add them onto different time, onto different um, tracks so that they can be on top of each other or, you know, so they can all be together on one, uh, at one particular point. So right now what we have is our two videos. Down here, the, the timeline is where you're really going to be doing all your work because this is where you actually have control of the video and what's going on. So, uh, what are some of the things that you want to look out for right here? So first is this button. This allows you to split a clip. We'll see how this works later on. This allows you to duplicate something. So for example, if I want to duplicate this, I just click on duplicate. And as you can see, it made an exact copy of it right after it. But I don't want to do that. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to press the undo button. Now the undo button, the undo button is going to help you a lot because it's you, you're going to make mistakes. That's natural. You're going to make things that you're like, oh wait, I didn't want to do that, or I didn't need to do that, or I didn't mean to do it like that. So just undo and it's all good. So uh, that's also something you need to take care of. This is obviously the delete button, uh, and this allows you to. This isn't very important for now. So yeah, so these are the main things that you want to take care of on this side. Then there's the undo button here, which you want to take care of. Uh, these will get, this isn't very important for now. And then these are the options that you are going to be using to actually edit your video for the most part, okay? So uh, actually this might be a good time to tell you about something. So obviously this is the slide where you can like take a look at everything. Uh, this, see this little dot at the, at the edge of the slider, if you click it and drag it, it allows you to zoom in or out so you can just better see the videos. They're not actually growing larger. It's just that I'm zooming in so I can better see what's happening in there. Okay, but that, that's just something that you might, you know, it's just for utility really. First of all, the most simple thing is, for example, you want to change the color of your video. For example, as you can see, this video is, this, this is the normal color of the video. This is just how I record it and this is how it's showing up. But I can, sh but I can change it. So as you can see, I clicked here on this uh, third little, uh, I guess, uh, thing down here okay so you click on this and here you can change the color of the of the video so for example let's say I can change it to this to airy and it kind of changes a little bit so that one isn't very noticeable uh, but for example if I go to something like this that that's a that's also a change that you can make so you have all these different presets for changes that you can make to the color of the video and all that so you get the idea so these are presets, of course, you can go back up here and just make it back to normal by pressing none. So these are just presets. Then you can go here and sort of play around with these options. This is a lot more complicated, so you might want to not want to deal with that right away. But these are just more complex options for like how you can set the color of the video. But okay, let's assume just fine with no particular changes in the color. You're just fine with how the video looks. So actually, let's take a look at this. Uh, uh, having, uh, a whole bunch of people. So yeah, remember what I was talking about later about how sometimes people just put black and white over sad uh, things in a video. So we're going to do that, actually. We're going to just steal a page out of other people's book and just <laughs> steal that idea. So I'm going to press play here. Having, uh, so yeah, this is about where I'm about to say having killed a whole bunch of people. So obviously that that's you know pretty tragic, and so this is where someone put something like that. So for example, uh, so I'm going to go down here, and I'm gonna say do this. Now you're gonna notice a problem. Now uh, the entire video is like that, and I don't want that. I only want that very specific point where I where I talk about how the tanks killed people. Okay, that's the sad part, and that's the part where I want this. So. I'm going to go back up first of all, and obviously I've already got the video clicked, which you can see because it's highlighted in yellow, okay? So I'm gonna go back to none because I don't want the video to all be black and white. So how do I have only these like one or two seconds be, be different from the rest? 
what you're going to do here is you are going to cut. So now I, br I obviously bring this blue marker thing at the exact point where I want to cut. And then I click on this scissor icon and it's and as you can see, it says split the clip. So I'm going to do that. And now, as you can see, I now have two different uh, separate parts of the video that they're, they're now completely separate. So let's so now let's say I change uh, this to a different color. OK, this one is very noticeable. Let's go for uh, this. OK, so and now I play after, after having uh, killed her. There, see, the fact that when, as soon as it went from this video to this video, it changed. Because I changed the color on this one, but I didn't change the color on this one. So this one's still as it was, but this one is different. Okay, so splitting is very good because it allows you to change different how different parts of the video act. And it allows you to modify different parts of the video without having to modify the whole video, which obviously you're not always going to want to do. So now, let's go to here. Well, a whole bunch of people. Okay, so now I've cut, I've said okay. So now they've killed a whole bunch of people, and I stopped here. So now I'm going to cut the video again. Now, as you can see, I have one, two, three different parts of what used to be one whole video. Okay, one whole clip. Now there it's in three parts. So this is the part that I want to make. This is the part where I'm saying that they killed people and obviously that's not good and so this is the part where I want to make it black and make it you know black and white as you can see so now well we can watch it again let's see what happens uh, having uh, killed a whole bunch of people when a guy just that see so it, it went from normal to black and white to normal again because they're now three different clips and I've edited only one of them so the others are just as they used to be Okay, now something else that you might want to do is add text, okay? Maybe, you know, you're talking, obviously that's great, but sometimes you just want to add text to supplement what you're saying. So, how are we going to do that? First of all, let's go to a bit where I wanted to add text. This, this is Tank Man. Man. So, here I'm saying, this is Tank Man. And I want to, you know, really emphasize that, so I'm going to click on this first one here. Okay, where it says graphics. So now it brings me to this and I click add graphic. Okay, and it's going to open up this thing here. Okay, so here you have a lot of options. Okay, you have overlays and, trans and transition graphics, which I really don't like to use. You can test them out if you want, but what we really want is titles. Okay, so it gives us these options, but also it has this button which says more. And so you're going to go here, it's going to give you a lot of different options for text that you can add. Okay. Uh, the one that I use because it's the simplest and really just the one that I, I guess is most convenient and easiest to edit is basic title to line. But of course, you can just use any of them if you find them convenient for you. Okay, so I double click this and as you can see, it now added this text uh, thing into the timeline. As you can see, it's in a track above the one where the video is. So this video is on a track and then the title is on a track on top of it. So now I I don't really want a subtitle. I just want a title that says Tank Man. Okay, I need to actually write it right. Okay, so now the title says Tank Man. Awesome. But I, I don't really want it in the middle like this. So how what how do I move it around? Well simple. First of all, I click this text box here. Okay, this is where the text is in the timeline. And so now as you can see, there's there are all these dots, it shows that there's something selected here. And if I drag it around, as you can see, I have the text selected. So I can put it here, I can put it there, I can simply put it wherever I want, and I can just let go and there we go. let's just assume I want it here, okay? Which for now, let, let's just assume that I do, okay? Um, let's say you're not happy with the color of the text or how big it is or the font. These are things that you can also change. As you can see, if you click it, it was still in graphics, by the way. We're still in this first option out of like these six here. It was still in graphics, so if you click on this arrow uh, to expand, you know, below Tank Man, where I've written, you can change the fonts. Obviously, there are a lot of fonts. You can pick the one that you like. I'm happy with this one, so let's keep that. Then there are also things that you can change, like the font size. So this is size 150. Let's say I want it to be bigger. I can 
put up something ridiculous, like 900 or something. Okay, that's a little too big, so I'm going to undo that real quick. Uh, or you can make it smaller, you can just adjust it with the slider, or you can click here and just manually adjust it. I'm going to keep it 150 for now. You can also change the text color, the text outline. Okay, so let's say text outline. Uh, I click this now, the text has an outline, but it's too small to see. I can make the outline bigger, except the outline is white, so you can't really tell. <laughs> let's make the outline black. There we go. Now, as you can see, there's an outline where there wasn't before. Uh, so yeah, th these are things that you can just change. Obviously, the best way to learn these things is really just to come in and try them out. Just, just click random things, just try random things, and you're going to understand how it works eventually. You're just gonna stumble on the answer. And, and really, you can just sort of, really, like just try stuff out and it's gonna work out. So yeah, so I don't really want an outline. I, I'm actually happy with the text as it was before. That was just to show you they were obviously assuming that I'm having a text value. Now, there's something here, okay? Let's just play this again. He makes the intrepid decision to... Oh, wait, okay. So, um, I'm actually not happy with where I put this text, okay? I put it too late. But the, the point where I said this is tank man was before the beginning of this text. It begins, like, here, and I said it, like, here somewhere, okay? So, I can just click this and drag it backwards. There we go. Now it starts earlier. This is Tank Man. He makes the intrepid. So yeah, now it starts where I wanted to. But now we have a different problem. The the text stays longer than it should. I say this is Tank Man. Then then I move on to you know saying something else. I don't really want Tank Man to just stay there forever. Okay. I I want it to you know end when I say this is Tank Man. So what you can do here, see this red marker that appears when I'm on the edge of the video. I can click the video and drag it backwards to make it shorter. I mean, not the video, the text, I bought it. So as you can see, you can make this longer or shorter or whatever, you just change how long it lasts, okay? And you can obviously do that on this side as well, but I don't know, so I'm gonna undo that real quick. So then now we can move back and we can see that. This is Tank Man. He makes the intrepid decision to- Okay, so it's still not perfect, but whatever. Like right now you have the video, you have the text, which is, you know, shorter than before you, you now know how you can change it you can move it around and how you can shorten it or lengthen it uh you know whatever however you like so this is just how text works you put it on a track and then you just edit it however you want uh, you write whatever you want as well and you can move it around as we've seen before you click on this then you click on the text and you can move it around and you can shorten it lengthen it, whatever you want. okay so now there's something else um let's see this shadowing it so the tank just stops. Okay, so this is the first video and this is the second video. This is the one where, you know, tank man starts tanking, standing in front of the tank and, you know, getting in their way. And then here, you're inside the tank and the tank's crew are kind of just deciding, okay, what are we going to do about this, okay? The problem here is that this transition, I, I don't like it. It's too sudden, okay? It just goes from this, you know, just immediately to this. Like, that. that's not great, okay? So... Actually, it gives you options for that. It, it lets you choose different transitions. If I can even find them. Yes, effect, the second one here. Okay, you're gonna click that. And as you can see, you have down here, you have transitions. So first of all, I'm going to click on this video because this is where I want to add my transition. So none, this means that there is no transition. It just goes from this video right to this video. But instead, you can choose one of these. Let's say I choose dissolve. What does this do? Now I can go back here and let's see what happens. So, so yeah, you saw that transition there. It didn't snap from one video to the other immediately. No, it actually just sort of transitioned from one of them, like sort of faded in. So you, there are also different options here. Let's say I pick slide right. Doing it. So yeah, that transitions by sliding in from the right and not just immediately snapping in again. And now I can just pick none again, as you can see. Uh, and well, as you can see now, there is no transition anymore. Um, so yeah, so these are things that you can um, pick. And they're not just for videos. You can also uh, choose them. If we go back to where the text was, I can also put a transition on this. Let's say I also put dissolve, which is honestly my favorite because it's just simple and basic and looks good. This is Tech Man. He makes the intrepid. As you can see there, the text, it sort of dissolved in and then faded out. So you can put transitions on videos, you can put it on text, you can put it on anything, really. And it will dissolve 
uh, from the beginning and at the end of whatever you picked. So here, uh, as you can see, there's these little gray things. This is where there's the dissolve animation, okay? And if I put it here on this thing that we did before, I can also put it on this video. As you can see, these gray things appeared here. I'm not sure if you can see it very well, but they also, also appeared here on the sides of the videos, okay? So now, if I go here, having uh, killed a whole bunch of people, when a guy just... Okay, the dissolve animation is very visible because the videos are actually exactly the same. <laughs> so they kind of just dissolve into themselves, but you get the idea. You can sort of just, uh, just select this to make the transition from one part of the video into the other smoother. And yeah, uh, it, it just, it's, it's helpful. It, it can really be very good for certain things. Okay, so first let's click out of this because it's taking up space and it's annoying. So now there's something else. What if you have problems with audio, okay? Let's say the, the audio on this uh, on this video, it's, it's just not good. It has background noise and there are things I kind of want to change. You know, there, there's stuff like that you can do like that, that you need to do like that sometimes. Uh, you can also do that. So as you can see here, this one, two, three, four, fifth one here, okay? Where I hover over it and it says audio. Let's click on this, okay? Um, First of all, one thing that you can do is you can add audio files that don't have a video, okay? Let's say I have an mp3 file and I just want, I can add it in one of the tracks below this one, okay? So I don't have one right now, but uh, I can just add an audio track, an audio file into the track below the video, and that audio file will play with the video, okay? But for now, let's just work with the audio of this video. This video has its own audio, okay? And actually, uh, this option here lets you see it more clearly. So this, uh, this blue uh, thing is the audio for this video, okay? And this blue thing right here is the audio for this video. But, okay, let's focus on this for now. So, as you can see, I clicked on this fifth um, option thing here, okay? And this is where it uh, deals with audio. So things that you can do are very simple things, such as mute. For example, if I click mute, okay, so obviously I have this video clicked, and because the video and audio are linked, if I click the video, it automatically clicks the audio as well. So if I click mute, it went gray. That means it's muted. If I play, yeah, you can't hear anything. It's playing, but you can't hear anything because it's muted. Now I'm gonna unmute that because I don't want to mute it. And you can also control the, you know, the, the clip volume so you can make the clip really loud or really quiet however you like i'm gonna undo that because i don't want to change the clip volume down here you have uh, a more advanced options okay these are options that uh, for example let's say this reduce background noise if you have background noise and it's annoying and it's kind of making the video hard to you know listen to or at least not making quality very nice you can click this which reduces background noise okay so the intensity controls how much do you want to reduce the background noise? Now, of course, it may seem, you know, counterintuitive to pick anything except 100, you know? I mean, if I can just reduce background noise as much as possible, why not? The problem with that is that if you do this, if you just click, say I do this, they will be asking that, like, I don't know if you can hear it, but the sound is kind of stifled. Like, my voice is a little stifled. You can't hear it very well, okay? So you don't want to put it all the way up. At the same time, of course, if you put it all the way down, then it's not really going to do anything. The background noise isn't going to change. So keeping it somewhere in the middle is usually advisable, but obviously that's up to you. Reduce echo works in a very similar way, but this video doesn't have echo. But yeah, you can click this, reduce echo, it also controls the intensity and stuff like that. Uh, these There are also other options here. Again, just play around with them, see what they do, see if they suit you. Uh, and yeah, that's, that's just how it is. Like, just try things out and you will discover how it works all on your own. Like th this a video like this is meant to help you discover how it works. But at the end of the day, you can learn this stuff for yourself. Okay, so now you might be thinking, I mean, you're probably not thinking that, but let's just say, you know, for sake of argument that you are, uh, that I, I, why does the video have to stay like this? Why can't I like zoom in or out? Well, actually, as a matter of fact, you can just see that. So obviously first I have to click the video. Okay, so now I'm clicking the video. I can say zoom out of the video. I can make it smaller. So now, yeah, now the video is, this is, looks like this, okay? Whereas before it was just normal. 
oh, I can zoom in and like really say zoom in on this guy. Okay, so now it's focused on him. Okay, so now I'm back to normal, but let's say that you want to zoom on this guy, but only at a specific point. Okay, let's say, which actually does happen in this video, this guy is talking, he's saying something, and, and I want to zoom in on him when he's talking, but not at other times. Remember what you said before about splitting? Well, you can use that again here. Let's, let's go to that bit, actually. Oh, what to do. And one of the guys inside says, okay, guys, like, this is... Okay, so here he starts talking. So here I'm talking as if, like, one of the, these guys is talking. Let's say this guy is talking, okay? So here he's saying, okay, guys, we need to shoot the guys on the that, okay? So it's at this point that I want to zoom in on him. But again, remember, if I zoom in on him now... Okay, it's gonna zoom in on him for the whole video. Okay, I can go like here, all the way up here. It's it's zoomed in on him. And I don't want that. I only want it zoomed in on him at a particular point in time. So I'm gonna undo all that real quick. So remember what we said before about splitting the video, where you know you use these scissor icons here. This scissor icon here. We're gonna do that again. You're going to click on these scissors. Okay. Uh. Okay. So we clicked on them, and so now I'm gonna play until. Okay. Guys, like, this is getting ridiculous. We need to shoot him or something. Okay, so this is at the end of where he's speaking. So now I'm going to split the video again. Now this video, this video that used to all be one big chunk is now split into three different chunks. And this is the chunk. I split it into two uh, pieces because I want this one to be separate from them so that I can zoom in on this guy. Okay, this guy here. Kind of put the spotlight on him, okay? And then these will just be normal. So, yeah, let's play it. One of the guys inside says, okay, guys, like, this is getting ridiculous. We need to shoot him or something. But the guy next to him is... There. Now, see, while he was talking, it was zoomed on him. So you can tell that this is the one who's speaking. And, but the rest is just, it's showing them normally. So this just... Again, splitting is just one of the most important things, okay? It allows you to just do all this and actually edit the video, um, like edit different parts of the video without having to change everything in the video, okay? So yeah, just learn to use this because it is very useful. It is might just be the most useful option on the entire thing. So yeah, learn to use this and uh, things like zooming in and that, just again, just click on the video and uh, the box that shows up with the, you know, the dots, you can just zoom in out and you can just click it and drag it around to say focus on that bit and nothing else that you know just just try around playing around with that and it'll work out another option that maybe might be useful to you which usually might not but you know it might is speed so the fourth one here as you can see this it says speed so this allows you to control the speed of the clip now obviously the clip is at normal speed it's at 100 percent speed which is I just recorded it and this is how fast it was, you know, when I was talking and when I was recording and all that. But you can change it, okay? So you can change, for example, uh, you can, so first of all, you have this thing which, where it says range. You can see this purple dotted line here. Well, the dotted line is white, but the purple, you know, around it, basically the purple line, okay? <laughs> this purple line is the range of the clip. What, what it says basically is the purple, the, the, the part of the video that is in purple that is the that is the part that will be concerned when we change the speed. So I don't want. Let's just say I want to change only part of the video. Okay, I only change with, uh, the speed of part of it. So I'm going to say make the range like about to here. So now this purple bit, and I can also control it using this. This purple bit is the one that is going to have its speed changed once I uh, use these options. The rest of the video is going to be normal. So I can say make the speed uh, 192%, about 200%. Okay, now let's play and see what happens. Just standing there menacing me. He looks like he's not even using 1% of his power. Okay, we'll be asking for Okay, yeah, let's, let's not keep that up. So yeah, you, you can clearly see this purple bit now is faster than the rest of the video. So this part is accelerated, but the rest of the video is normal because this is, the, this is the only one that's in purple. Now then you have an option called ramp. Ramp basically just means that it doesn't immediately go from 100% uh, speed to 192%. It sort of like eases in, okay? So I'm going to set ramp to 
three seconds so you can tell more easily uh this just controls like how quickly it transitions from being normal speed to being really fast so let's do this just look at the guy he just stops a whole column of tanks by just standing there menacing he looks like he's not even one percent of his power okay so yeah again it's not i don't know if it's notable for you or not but it just ramps up like it goes from normal to slightly faster to slightly faster slightly faster until it's just really fast like maximum speed and then it goes back down again towards the end here where the purple line sort of just goes down as you can see then there's this option called maintain audio pitch uh you, you may you know know the thing about okay let's just get rid of ramp for now uh you know the thing about how sometimes when a video is really speeded up the the pitch gets really high and they're, and they're like talking in this very squeaky voice or when you really make it slow, the pitch goes really low and they're talking like, you know, in a very low voice. So this is basically what that controls. Maintain audio pitch essentially means that my voice will stay the same. But if I unclick it, standing there, okay, yeah, I don't want to hear myself like that. <laughs> you get the idea, okay? It, it just, it just squeaks. It, it becomes a squeaky voice. But if instead I make the speed, uh, 30%, which obviously is a lot slower than normal. Okay, we're not going to talk about that, but you, you see, okay? So, yeah, let's just bring the range back to 100, so, you know, no more shenanigans. This is not something I'm going to be using, uh, not for this video at least, but it is an option that is there in case, you know, you, you need that for any reason, I guess. It, it's there and you can use it. So there's also this sixth one down here, which is crop and rotate. Obviously crop, uh, obviously like you can change the position of the video and all that as we talked about before. Um, that this also allows you to do other things. I'm not gonna really just go into, de I'm not really gonna go into detail, but it just allows you to change how the video is like presented, I guess. Uh, it'll, and just how it, okay, uh, yeah. Uh, it just allows you to just change how the video is presented, really, how it works. But you, you can just try these options out for yourself. Like, for example, rotation. I can just rotate the video. Yeah, it's, it's very cool. It's upside down. Wow, okay. <laughs> but yeah, you, you can just change stuff like that in this sixth one here. Crop and rotate, which I'm not going to do. But yeah, you can do that yourself. So now uh, we get to a point where, okay, let's say I've edited my video and I'm happy with what I have. Oh, wow, what a surprise. I forgot the third part of the video. Who could have seen this coming, huh? Well, awesome, because, uh, well, it actually sucks because I forgot to add it in the beginning. But that's fine, because even if there is something that you want to add on your, to your video that you forgot to add at the beginning, you can still add it later on. How? Well, obviously, if you remember, we picked uh, the first video and the second video at the beginning, so they sh showed up here, but we didn't pick the third video, so it done, so it didn't show up. But we can still add it. Um, there are two ways you can do this. Uh, first is you click plus. It says add media. This plus here, you click add media. You're going to, uh, to click. You obviously these are different things you can add. Graphics, obviously, just text and other things like that. Audio, voiceover. You can do a voiceover, whatever. You're gonna click your media. So yeah, again, this lets you uh, just sort of select, uh, go, you can go here and pick a different uh, folder if you want. This just shows uh, the videos that are on my desktop. And so yeah, so here it is. This is the video that the, I forgot to add at the beginning, right? So I can just click this and then click this. There we go. And then click add. And it's going to add it here. But alternatively, you know, th there is another thing that you can do. And it's quite simply to just go into the folder directly and then say, I want to take this. And so this is the one I can just click and drag it down here. Okay. Keep dragging, keep dragging. Don't let go. And then there we go. You can just add it immediately like this. So yeah, that, that's, that's for me is an easier option, but yeah, you, you can just do whatever you like just do whatever is easier, more convenient for you. This I consider to be more convenient for me, so I use this method, but you can also use this method, they both work fine. Okay, so that's how you add a new video or photo or whatever, or because you can add photos, you know, you can add photos, you don't just have to have videos in, in your timeline. Uh, but yeah, we'll get to that. Now, we want to do something. 
Okay, let's assume I've also added this and I'm happy with it. Okay, let's do this. The true story of Tank Man. Okay, I don't like that. I, I, I don't like that. I want here to have an actual picture of the real Tank Man, right? The guy who actually stood in front of the Chinese tanks. Okay, the Chinese guy who stood in front of the Chinese tanks uh, at, at the protest. Okay, so uh, first of all, I'm going to bring that photo in here. So again, I'm going to come down here, uh, it's on my desktop, I'm going to click and drag the photo all the way down here, then bring it here, and I'm going to put it here. But, so this is the picture, okay? This is the photo of the actual, ta of the real tank man, okay? Now what I'm going to do here is, actually I want to show you something first. Because remember, I actually talked to you about tracks and stuff, but I haven't really shown you how they really, I haven't really shown you how they work, okay? I can put this up here, okay? This photo is now on a track above this video, okay? Which means that actually the video is still there, okay? The, like if I play this, you can see the photo, but the video is still like below it. It's like it's still playing. It's just behind the photo because the photo is on a track above the video. The photo shows up before the video, and so the video is still there, but it's hidden behind the photo. So something that you can do. If, say, you want to put a photo on top of a video that you want playing, or that you want part of a video to be playing on top of a video that you also want to be playing, I can, let's say, do this. So this is a picture. I can just make it smaller. And, like, let's say I want the picture to be uh, in the corner here, okay? Now I can do this. And finally, the procession is able to get back. See that? So, so the picture is... Like, I can have the picture and the video both playing together on top of each other. And uh, the one that's going to be on top of the other is just determined by which one is on a higher track. So the photo, uh, the, this photograph here is on a higher track than the video. So it's going to show up on top of it. But of course, if the video was the one that was on the track above it, the video would show up on top of the photo. But yeah, point point is, you can have pictures on top of each other like this by just... just uh, you know, playing around with how with the track and just exploiting how they work. So yeah, you can have stuff on top like this on top of each other, and it's really useful to just have this. Okay, just know how this works. But I actually don't want this picture here. What I want to do is I want to bring this photo here. I want it next to the video. I don't want them on top of each other. Okay, I want. You know, when I'm saying, and this is the true story of Tank Man in the video, I want. A pic the, I want the photo to show up. I don't. I don't really want, a, a, you know, a, a, just a video of tanks just standing there. No, I want this guy to show up. Okay, so first I return the photo, you know, back to normal. And now what I'm going to do is this is actually somewhat complex if you don't really know how it's done. So yeah, here it is. So I know I want to add the photo, okay? But the problem is, uh, let's just play. Yeah, the problem is the, the, the video is done by the time it gets to the, the picture. As you can see, the audio ends with the video and the picture doesn't have any audio. I, I want the part where I say, and that is a true story of Tank Man, to be with the video, okay? To be over the video, not over these toy tanks just sitting there, okay? So I am going to do something. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on this video. And I'm going to click on this option separate or actually before I do that, I'm going to uh, just, yeah, because that's just distracting. So now I'm going to right click and click on this option that says separate audio. Okay. What this does is it separates the audio from the picture, from the, from the video. Now, this is still the same audio of the video, but the editor doesn't realize that anymore. It just says, it just realizes that you want this audio to be separate from the video. This is the audio of this video, but now... I can move move them around independently. Whereas before, if I click the video, it automatically click the audio. If you remember, they were both highlighted in yellow. Now only the audio is highlighted in yellow when I click it, and only the video is highlighted in yellow when I click it. They're not they're not dependent on each other anymore. Now what this allows me to do is to say cut the video. Okay, where do I want to cut the video? Let's say I want. Cut. Is the truth okay? Let's say I want to cut the video here. Okay, I've got to cut the video. Whereas before I would have cut the audio with it, 
Now, as you can see, the audio is still one p in one piece, or the video is now cut into two. So I'm going to delete this, okay? And now the audio is still intact. So if, if I keep this picture of Tank Man, uh, you know, just keep it aside for a second. Let's do this. This is the true story of Tank Man. So as you can see, the video runs out because I already deleted this part of it, but the audio is still running. And that's because, because I separated the audio from the video, now the audio keeps playing even if the part of the video that it was originally attached to is no longer there. So what I can do now is I can actually take the picture of Tank Man and put it here, okay? And I'm going to just make it a bit longer to be about as long as the audio, okay? And now if I play True Story of Tank Man, there we go. My audio from the video, or at least which used to be from the video, is now playing over the picture because I put this picture in the place of where the other video is to be, on top of the part of the audio where I, that I want playing over the photo. So yeah, that's how you do it. It just allows you to uh, not have to always have the audio from one particular video on that video and at the exact same point, okay? I can obviously, uh, this allows me to also say, get another video, a different video, and then have the audio from that video uh, playing on a different video. So, okay, so actually I think it's easier if I illustrate that. Okay, so I'm gonna reselect this one and I'm going to add it again. It's still like there at the beginning. But yeah, th so I just added this back in, okay? I'm going to put it on top of this. So now, as you can see, we have this track here, which has this video on it, and then this track here, which has this video on it. But the problem is they both have audio. As you can see, the audio for this one is still here. And this one also has its own audio, which isn't muted. So if I play, bystanders have rush they up to the scene and try Wow, that is very annoying. <laughs> okay, so you can hear my voice in both videos because both all of the audios of those videos are playing. Okay, so the audio for this video is playing at the same time as the audio for this video. But let's say for this video here, okay, I don't want the audio for this video to be playing over it. I want the audio from this video to be playing over it. Now, of course, in this particular context, that's not going to be very useful, but you, let's say you want to do that. Simple. Again, remember, we can just go into the audio options. Where are they? They are not here. They are here, the fifth one. And you and by clicking on this video, which has audio linked to it, I, I click mute. And now this video is muted. So this, like the, my voice from here is not going to be playing. My voice from here is still going to be playing. So pull Tank Man away. They're like... They're like that you can or they can only hear one of them now because this one is muted. So now let's assume that okay, I'm done. Okay, I've edited the video. I'm happy with how it is, and um, you know th th this is fine. You know, okay. Now what? Now now I want to you know export the video. I actually want to turn it into an MP4 or a, like whatever file. Okay, I actually want it as a video on my desktop or whatever else. So now is where you click this button here, share, okay? You click on share. And so now you can uh, actually export the video. So let's, uh, first of all, what do you want to name it? I'm going to name it um, uncreative name because that's just how creative I am with my names. It also gives you the option to just immediately upload it to YouTube or Facebook or Instagram or this, but you know, you know, usually what you're going to do is just download, like, download it to your computer and then if you want to upload it to those, you can just do it independently. Okay, so now you're going to, uh, you pick which folder you want to save this to, okay? You say, I say I want to save it to the desktop, so I'm going to click on this. And I want to go up here, I'm going to click on desktop, and I'm going to click select folder, and then now you can see it says that it's going to save it to the desktop, okay? So yeah, now you can pick whatever folder you want on your computer, just, you know, just pick it from here. So here it gives you how big the file is going to be, but you know, whatever. Uh, this also, this, okay, so this allows you to pick uh, like more advanced things. So how high do you want the quality to be? Obviously, uh, normally you'd say high, but uh, obviously the higher the quality, the higher the estimated file size. So if you have storage problems, you want to pick a lower quality. Um, well, that see, I picked low and the estimated file size went down considerably. So yeah, that just depends on what you want, really.
You can also play around with like things like the resolution, the frame rate. Now I can finally click export. Okay. So yeah, now it's rendering the video. It's actually just, you know, loading it and downloading it to my desktop, which is where I asked it to put the video. So while it's rendering, I just want to say, again, like these kinds of uh, app, like these video editors and things like that, the best way to learn them is just to try things out. You know, just try out options. Just pre just click buttons. Just just try stuff. Okay, it, that's really the easiest way to learn these things because. I mean, a guy like this, a tutorial like this, I don't know if, I, I mean, I hope you find it useful, but the, it, it can, it, I'm always going to, there's, there's stuff that, even now, there's stuff I know I forgot to say, okay? And it's not because that stuff isn't important or because, or because that, or because that stuff is complicated. It's just because it's a lot easier to just experience it and to just try it. So, yeah, th that's all I want to say. Just go into the editor, obviously watch a tutorial if, if it helps you, uh, you know, just kind of get a feel for it at least initially then just try out stuff and see how it works and see how all the options interact together okay but now anyway uh you know back to this my video has now been rendered as you can see it says that it's been locally saved it's been rendered and i can go down and as you can see this is the video it's now on my desktop but yeah so now you're going to click done it's going to bring you back here you can go back to edit and yeah you can just go back to editing stuff if you feel like you need to but what I'm going to do is I'm going to click home and it is going to bring me back to uh, my projects. So again, these are projects that I'm hiding because, you know, it's private stuff. Uh, and then this is the project that we were just working on. Remember, I named it project at the beginning, which is very creative, but, you know, it's, it's just me. So, yeah, and then you can click on this again. It's going to open it up again. And yeah, you can go back to editing once again. So yeah, that, that's just how you use this. So yeah, that's Adobe Premiere Rush. I hope you found this useful somehow. I'm actually going to finish editing uh, this video. I'm, I'm actually going to edit it properly. Like I just did whatever here because I was just showing you all the options and how they work. But yeah, I'm going to finish editing this. I'm going to actually uh, post the full ed fully edited version uh, in the description so you can go see it if you know, you like it. It's gonna be more of a meme than anything, really. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna do a lot more editing than I did here on it. But yeah, I, I just I just want to give you a feel for the options, really. So yeah, I, I hope you found this useful. Uh, if you have a, any questions, just I guess let me know in the comments. <laughs> if, I, if I can answer them, I'll definitely try. And again, just try out different options, and you will stumble on the right thing. So so long as the option is present, you will stumble on it uh, upon it eventually. Okay. And again, I'll try to help you out if I can. And um, yeah, I, I hope you enjoy. I hope you find this useful. And uh, yeah, goodbye. And uh, remember to be a good person. I, I don't know why I said that.